What's up guys? I just wanted to share some info for anyone wondering about safe temperatures for GDDR6X without too much speculation. Because I've seen a lot of speculation. I've seen uh, third party testing using all sorts of tools. And I'm not going to argue with how accurate that testing may be, but I don't think it matches the environments that the manufacturers tested in. So just to keep that in mind, um, basically I've been following the GDDR6X GPU launches with the 3080 and the 3090, and as well as the temperatures that that, that memory reaches under certain loads like gaming, uh, which is normal. The, the gaming temperatures are fine and within spec, but then when I saw the mining temperatures that some people have been asking about, um, they're saying their card gets up to 100C mining. And I also tested my RX 5700, which is GDDR6, not 6X. I tested my card mining and noticed that the D, uh, DDR6 X, uh, 6 non-X temperatures get exceptionally hot when mining. So like my gaming temps are like, before I modded my card anyway, were around 80 to 90C. And when, when I was mining, it was going to 100C. And I already knew that's like a red flag, like that's not normal behavior, uh, not a normal temperature, because I do know that the TJ Maxx for GDDR6 is 100C, the TJ Maxx, not the T case. So based off that, I looked into 6X and I found there was like missing information. There was like all kinds of numbers being thrown around on the safe temperature. And I think there's a lot of speculation, but I want to I want to just explain that there's going to be people that disagree with me on this, but there's also going to be people that agree. And one, one point of argument here is that there's websites, I'm not going to bring them up because I don't want to like start a war between different uh, enthusiasts and different you know tech websites. But basically, there's people that are saying the throttle temperature, well, they're implying that the throttle temperature and the TJ Maxx are the same thing, when I don't think they are. I think the throttle temperature is something that may have been set on the, manu uh, not the manufacturer's end, but the end user. Um, the purchaser, whoever is using the memory, not necessarily Micron, but set elsewhere, set by a third party. I think the throttle temp is something that's um, kind of to prevent immediate damage rather than degradation temperature. So I believe the TJ Max is a degradation temperature where your 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 memory is being damaged, and then the throttle temp might be the upper limit where the memory will try to slow itself down to prevent immediate damage. So if you can understand that, there would be three temperatures that are important. You'd have your TJ Maxx, which would be the lower up, the upper lower temperature. So the max temperature before you get any kind of degradation. Then there would be the throttle temperature, which is the temperature at which performance degrades and the memory tries to protect itself before immediate damage at an upper temperature, which is like a second TJ Maxx, uh, if you will. So if you can imagine there's like an upper and a lower TJ Maxx, I think the throttle temperature is in between there. And the way that I can kind of support my opinion is, I can't show it here, but I can. I know there's people that have seen this. Originally on the Micron GDDR6X website, they had two values under operating temperature. They had 0 to 95C, and then they had like minus 40 to 110C, and that's since been removed. So I think they, they removed that because they wanted to try and... Um, remove any points of contention like of argument for reliability issues and they don't want to be liable if people are running out of spec and then they're saying it's within something that micron officially listed and that's my own theory because i did check this website and i know for a fact it had minus 40 and 110 c listed as a separate value uh, range other than 0 to 95 c which is a t case temp but i also know from my own gddr6 testing that 0 to 95C is what they have been using since GDDR5, 5X, and into 6. And the reason I believe they're using the same temperature for GDDR is the material and the basic construction is roughly the same. So unless they de develop some new material to create these chips, these GDDR6, um, you know, however they develop them, I'm not going to, like, I'm not an engineer to go into the technical side, but I'm not aware of any special engineering feat where the temperature can now go up to 120C. I'm not aware of any kind of more resilience that they mentioned on any advertising for, for GDDR6X. Only more throughput and obviously higher temps with the higher speeds, okay? But here's where I can get into some things where, where um, tech sites are maybe confusing people is that they've got this 110C thing. Um, part of it is maybe from 
the original listing that they had on the Micron website. Another part is that there is a throttle temperature where the memory slows down around 110C. So it kind of like might back up that claim that 110C is the up the, the, the TJ Max. But I think you can get degradation at 100C. And the the GPUs haven't been out long enough for anyone to really prove otherwise. Even GDDR6 with the RTX 20 series and with RX 5700 series has not been out for three years or longer to really prove if early failures might be a thing, early memory failures. I have seen like um, anecdotal accounts of mining failures running at 100C on RTX 2070s, but I'm just going to go off the technical data here and try to back up what I'm saying is if you're running at 100C, I would try to get it lower to be in a safe range. And this is where I'll back it up. If you go to this site, not only have they removed the original rating and they put it to 100, uh, 0 to 95C, same as GDDR6. So they're all following the same rating now. If I go to the parts catalog, you'll see two parts, which one is Contact Factory and the other one is, so that might be early. Um, I don't know if this is new. It could be new or old. Uh, I don't see any specific uh, 11020. That's uh, so the same dates. But basically, just slight variances. I don't know what the exact differences are. But the temperature, operating temperature is the same. This is the T case temperature. And if you open up this data sheet, which is they're using the same one on both of these these chip catalog pages. If we open that up, this is where people are trying to argue that 100C is safe. Is they're looking at the T case and saying T case is allowed to be different or lower than T junction because T junction is inside the chip, right? And that makes sense, okay? T junction is inside the chip, it's an internal temperature. So T junction being hotter, if you can install hardware info and get a higher memory reading that's exceeding the T case, uh, is fine. Like that's that's the argument. But my argument is the margin, the delta between T case and T junction is tiny, because if you just look at the physical difference on the chip itself, it is between, and this is like, I don't know if it's going down to microns, maybe millimeters, but T case is up here on the top of the chip. And these are tiny chips. If you know how big a, a, a memory chip is, it's on that's on the surface of the chip, and T junction is like just underneath that. So maybe a millimeter or so. I don't know what the actual measurement difference is, but it's only a small difference. And it doesn't make sense that the T junction would be up 15C higher, and there'd only there'd be a massive 15C delta between these two points. I think they would be much closer than that. And I believe that the operating temp lining up with a TJ Max temp rated from Micron with a 5C difference makes a lot more sense. So this is where I'll show you. Um, T case, 0 to 95C, and then if you go to either of these pages, the same thermal specification sheet, application sheet, TN0008, is listed on both of the product pages for, for GDDR6X. And it's actually a DDR, GDDR6 um, thermal application sheet. But they've used the same one for 6X because it's a derivative. Uh, 6X was developed based on GDDR6, right? So if I go to this thermal specification page, at the very top, second paragraph, or even the first paragraph, um, it defines a general method and criteria for measuring and ensuring, you know, operating. It's operating within specification, and the primary consideration. This is what any, even a layman, can understand this. The primary consideration of the functionality and reliability of micron semiconductor products is the junction temperature, or TJ Max, as a lot of people have been looking for. Table 2, page 3, which I can click on, shows an overview of junction temperature limits based on product families. Now, product families are important because a lot of the uncertainty with 6X is that there's no official documentation from Micron, but we do have enough deductive reasoning, like using deductive reasoning, that if the 6X product catalog pages are linking to TN008 for thermal application that it follows the same thermal application because it's linked on the 6x page okay you don't need to be a genius just deductive reasoning guys so if we go to this TN008 page it says based on product families and it is essential that each device operates below the defined junction temperature so under 
the junction temperature for proper functionality and long-term reliability of the device. Okay, and if I click on page, table two, there's a family here called GDDR, and it's got five, five X, and six that all seem to use the same, you know, manufacturing tolerance, like temperature tolerance range. They're all using 100 C, whether it be commercial or industrial. So maybe industrial would be mining or something else. I don't know what's what else is using GDDR, but this is the maximum junction temperature, which is back up here, the primary consideration for functionality and reliability. So I, I've had people argue with me on this, and because, because and this is specifically because of other tech sites that have speculated otherwise. And I'm just going to throw this opinion out there because I think there's going to be a lot of people that agree with me and say, that makes sense. I'm going to follow this and stick to the safe side. If you want your card to last past the warranty period as long as possible, I would avoid exceeding 100C. Even if 6X is not listed here, it's in the same family and it's linked on the 6X page. Like that's the, that's the big note to take here is that if they're linking this thermal application data on the 6X catalog pages, you can be fairly sure that 6X probably belongs here and maybe they forgot to add it in or they assume people are smart enough to realize that 6 and 6X are the same family because it's a derivative, just like 5 and 5X are following the same. Okay? And then it's got down here, the maximum junction temperature in each device grouping is considered the maximum reliability rating for that grouping. And reliability rating is mentioned up here. Junction temperature reliability. Um, the temperature at which the device will be permanently damaged. So this is degradation temperature. Okay. This is a stress rating only and device functional operation at or above the conditions is not implied. So they're basically not giving any guarantees past this temperature. And so if, if well, NVIDIA and AMD have not even gone into this. They're not putting any official ratings. So the, really, this is the best data we have to go off. Uh, the best the most official rating we ha anyone has to go off. And anything else is purely speculation, unless Micron themselves make an official announcement or statement, uh, or a Micron engineer that, that works in this area specifically. Okay, so you can go through this. I'm going to link all this in the comments. You can go look at it for yourself. But I don't know why. There, there, there are literally users going around that have read these other articles that say the, the throttle temperature at 110C means that... The, that running at 100C is fine because it's only throttling at 110. No, okay. I'm, I, I like. I'm gonna just disagree with those users straight up. If the throttle temperature is 110, that does not mean degradation or accelerated degradation isn't happening at 100C. It could be, um, and you might be lock, knocking one year off the life of your card, which it still might last for five years or four years. But right now, even GDDR6 cards like RTX 20 series and, and Navi have not been out long enough to, to give any definitive safety advice. Like you can't say, oh, you can run GDDR6 fine for 100C for five years. You, no one knows. No one just, it hasn't been out that long. Um, RTX 20 series with GDDR6 has been out for roughly two years or going on three years. But, you know, there's not any data to go off other than these spec sheets. Like there's not enough official data. So for anyone wondering with the T case and the T junction difference, if you're if you're gonna like say that there's um, allowed to be a certain delta range, so it's okay to run 15C hotter on your T junction because the T case operating temp is 100 uh, uh, up to 95C, so you can run a hotter T junction. That's perfectly fine. Well, Micron is stating that the T junction max is 100C, so you've got only a 5C difference, a 5C delta range where it's safe. Um, possibly safe, not actually certain safe, but possibly safe above the TK's temp, operating temp. Okay, so I just wanted, to, that's my opinion, and I think there's going to be users that disagree, that want to argue about it. Fine, you can go ahead and argue. I'm going off the documentation, uh, and I'm running a GDDR6 card, uh, my Navi RX 5700, and just because you can run it at 100C and it's not crashing and it seems to be stable does not mean it's good for the card. So, I mean, at the very least, all I'm trying to tell people is if you want to be on the safe side, try to get your temps down. Um, there is a bit of warranty like headroom where you might not want to void your warranty and mod the card like to put on um, to change the thermal pads. But I think uh, voiding warranty from changing thermal pads, can, there, there's workarounds for that. And 
At the very least, you could try to work on your cooling. Uh, PCB airflow over the back of the PCB might help. Or adding thermal pads, which you can simply remove before any warranty claims, as long as you do it carefully, um, and they don't have those stickers, which I think are illegal anyway. But improving the cooling of your of your expensive graphics card, which is like a thousand plus bucks, uh, or more than a thousand for an, a 3080, I don't think that's too much of a stretch for someone to recommend if you want to protect your card and have it last as long as possible. Um, because even if you can warranty it, or you can you don't care if the card dies in two years, which I think most people would care because of the scarcity. Um, I'm just trying to help people out. You know, I'm not I'm not doing this for my own benefit. It's just data that I've looked into, and I didn't see enough. Um, I didn't see anyone going into this technical document and and drawing any conclusions off it. They're just saying, oh, there's no specs for six X, so who cares? That we'll go off the junction, uh, the throttle temperature, and that's the junction temperature. And yeah, there I don't think they're the same thing. I think there's 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 margin for error. And then there's maximum junction temperatures listed by the manufacturer on a thermal document. And there's only so much headroom where you could argue with that, um, you know, short of being an engineer yourself. I'm not an engineer, but short of being one, there's only so much a user could argue as, a, as an anecdotal uh, opinion. But at least I'm going, well, here's, here's some facts, and, and, and you can use some deductive reasoning to figure out if, if it's safe or not. So I wanted to share that, guys. I'll link all this stuff in the comments. And you can make of it what you will. I think it's it's a good recommend. It's a safe recommendation. It's not going to hurt anyone to tell people to try to get your temps down. At the very least, it's not going to hurt anyone. Uh, in the best case scenario, it might save a few people from early failures in a few years' time, uh, or or sooner. So you know, I would not consider running between 100 and 110 C as a safe range just because it's throttling at 110. Um, for me, that that's not the same thing. So anyway, I uh, hope this video clears some stuff up and at least gives you some footing to form your own opinion 